Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Friday. And we today we have an internal special guest. We're going to be doing our live with Anne. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to your first live. We have done webinars and we have done presentations together, but it's the first time that people can put a face to the name that show a lot of times on the chat. How are you doing? Hi, everyone. Hi, girls um, and fam. Hi, hi, everyone. Thank you for being here. Uh, I hope you like the, the live today. We are going to have fun. So you are free to ask anything that you want to ask for. Yeah, and Anne is going to be helping us too with uh, the chat because uh, we tend to miss a lot of things. Hi, Alva. Everybody hey. knows you, but uh, okay. <laughs> in, in the meantime, you say hello. I'm going to start ringing people. Hello, glowing number. Uh, and obviously, we can start because Perry says Hi, hello, Perry. lady. Super excited to yes, see you hey. here too. We are too. We didn't know if we can convince her, but we did. So, <laughs> Elva, my partner, business and crime on Fridays. Now we have three ladies on. Yes. Spring. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Susan. Hi, Anne. Welcome. It's going to be great Thank to have you. you here. And let's get in. Okay. Have Only fun. to let you know. Uh, we promised that we're going to be talking about Margaret Thatcher and Pablo Picasso. But guess what? Uh, I've double booked. We double booking. I double book. I have a live with Lina Cisco on Clubhouse. So if you have Clubhouse, look for Lina Cisco. We're going to be talking about the Profiler Task Force and what we're going to be doing. And at 5.15, I have another presentation. So. We're going to talk about Pablo Picasso next month. And by the way, we have a lot to be talking today about Margaret Thatcher. And uh, Claire Delun says, hello, ladies. Ken, Go there's gorgeous Perry, like <laughs> always. We have the professor, too. Throughout my life, people have told me that I look like my Margaret Thatcher. Uh, I would say this is a good compliment. And we have our our new students and face reading. Yeah, power team. Hi, ladies. Hi, Hilary. Hi, How are you doing? Uh, check your homework. Check your span in case. OK, we're going to talk about the lovely Margaret Thatcher, uh, the Iron Lady. And that's the reason I have Iron Wall. I was looking for a graphic to add, but I love her face in this picture. She looked like she can sure. take the world. And she did. Now, next week. We're going to be talking about this too. Uh, the the <laughs> alchemy on the team was we're talking about the daddy nudes. I don't know, but it's so many that I think in some <laughs> point we're going to need to address. What do you think, guys? We're going to be talking about the, the dirty things happening there too? Yeah, we can add too. We can add some things there, so there. we can make it fun. Guys, you're terrible. I try to ease it and, like, no, let's go for the dirty night. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, AJ, Justice, uh, okay, we have people jump in. Uh, through my life, people have told me I have French nose, which look a look like Picasso, but with lumps. Picasso have a really good nose, so there is no problem there. Perry says, I don't have Clubhouse. Lena is awesome, so I, can someone please send me their notes? Um, you know what? It's my first time in Clubhouse. Lena texts me this morning and says, you need to get in Clubhouse. Like, what is that? How I do that? I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. So I downloaded in my in my phone. Probably I'm going to mess it up during our life. So thank God it's fun. And AJ, H about justice says, hey, hey, everyone. So let's jump because we have a lot. And I hope this doesn't mess with the audio. Remember, June 1st, May 31, prices are going up. So if you want to take face reading, you can save $250, so up to 30% on savings. You can have the bundles. We have homework two times a month. You can access the classes for a year, and you can have be part of the open class. And by the way, the memberships and the bundles for uh, the people who register in our website are going up next week. So you, ha you have the chance to have have 
be part of the webinars that we have. You can be recording classes with us. So be paying attention. Uh, the promo is going to go for the people who already is in our newsletter. If we are developing a new ways to get in contact. We are super busy to do more live. So we find another ways to be in contact with you. If you want to know about this, about the classes, you can go to humanbehaviorhackerschool.com. And if you want to know about webinars or you want to know about how to register in our newsletter, go to humanbehaviorlab.com. And again, I kiss my cats before the live. And when people like scratch their nose, oh, lie, like, no. When you have two cats with long hair, and by the way, it's 90, mean equal 30 degrees here in Chicago is crazy. Okay. Today, we're going to do something different, and we're going to start incorporating uh, new things to our lives. In this case, uh, this woman was well known for has a boys coach. And actually, the first time that I learned that I need to work with my boys was when I hear her. When we work with lawyers, and when, when I, we train lawyers, and we prepare witnesses for the stand or uh, clients for lawyers, one of the things that we show is the transformation that Margaret Thatcher did with her voice and her body. So most lawyers says, why you need to train me? I've been a lawyer for 20 years because you don't look good. You don't look assertive. You don't look like you know what you're doing. And the tone of your voice is really important. I do not have a voice for radio. And when I'm tired, I get an excited or I, I'm rushed. I might pitch a voice tend to go really high then sometimes I cannot hear myself because it's annoying. So she find out really early in her own hair age and she managed. And after that, she become a completely different person. Hey, Jane, I don't remember if I saw you before. Hi, ladies. I'm excited to hear you expert opinion. I'm 40 years old, soon to be 49. I wish I have known that criminal profiling was a real profession. Profiling is built inside everyone uh completely but you know what it's never late no. it's never too late i never belong to any three letters agencies i never belong to any police department and guess what i'm a civilian hostel negotiator and i have the super honor and i can still cannot be excited enough i'm gonna be presenting two times on the texas hostel negotiator and guess what I talked to the organizers yesterday. They want to present face reading to hosted negotiators, SWATs, and more. So that is a huge, huge. And you know what? I'm going to turn 50. And I have my first chance to talk in a hosted negotiation. And I'm sorry, we have the people doing constructions next door in a plane. Oh, God. I will love 30 minutes with you. With you. Subscribe to your channel, but cannot afford workshop. You are great. Thank you. Well, talking about talking about that if you want to get on the raffle to get 30 minutes with us and get your face face red or whatever you want just go to our uh, youtube channel but another thing do not forget to send your information we have grown our youtube channel 40 percent and people is registering but they're not sending the information at the end when we do the raffle we're going to be put in. If you already subscribe and you uh, want to participate, just send us. We have almost four, 400 people in our YouTube channel, and only we have like 20 people that send the information. Do it. It's the only way because most of you have avatars who are not, uh, they're not your real name. So the only way we can determine who won. So Thank you for the reminder. And by the way, Anne told me this morning, Susan, don't forget people to say, check your span. And because I was afraid to forget, I put, oh, by the way, it's green. So you get the background. <laughs> check your span. <laughs> so check your span for our emails. Okay, let's go. And again, today is going to be different. And we hope that you get audio. We're going to be playing a game. We're going to show you. We're going to make you hear the audio first. And after that, we're going to show you the image. And after that, we're going to put the image with the audio together. So you can start having the sense and working with different sense and, and teach you and show you how we do profilings when we have video and how we train people and how to read themselves and how to interpret themselves what they do. Are we ready? I'm going to go fast with this. So ladies, you can get ready. 
Margaret Hilda Robert Baroness Thatcher. She was born October 13, 1925, and she died April the 8th, 2013, at the age of 83, 87 years old. By the way, she died the first, the same day that Pablo Picasso died. He died on April 8th that good finding from Elba. She was a British state woman who served as a prime minister of the United Kingdom from 79 to 1990s. A Soviet journalist dubbed her the Iron Lady. That's the reason I call her the Iron Lady. Lady was a journalist who gave her the nickname, a nickname that become associated with her uncompromising politics and leadership style. As a prime minister, she implemented policies that become known as a Thatcherism, <clears throat> the same way that a lot of politic, politicians' ways to do things become part of their name. Margaret Thatcher did the same. Thatcherism represents a systematic and decisive overhaul of the post-war consensus, whereby the major, the major political parties largely agree on the central theme of Keynesianism. Why we always put these names? Uh, the welfare state nationalized industry and close regulation of the economy and high taxes. She married Dennis Thatcher from eight, 1984 to 2003 when he died and they have a really special uh, relationship and bond during all the years they, they were married. He was the number one fun and they have two kids, Car Mark and Carol. They are extremely uh, polemic because she always says that Mark was her favorite and not Carol and she didn't have any problem to say it. I'm not saying it's good, I'm not saying it's bad. It's weird for a person to say it publicly. Okay, we're gonna start with her voice, gaze, and body language. Guys, are you ready? Uh, we're gonna need to go fast on the chat and that's the reason uh, everybody gonna collaborate if we missing anything. So let's go. So I want you to close your eyes and in case that you're cheating, we put a black screen so you only need to listen and guys please let me know with a y if you can hear it and with an n if you don't hear it including with the team and i saw we have a private chat i want to take a look now let's tell me if you can hear it nope okay let's see again Okay, I hope it's work. Nope. Nope. Oh, you kidding me? All the presentation is based on this and I can hear it. Okay, let's see if I share another one. Please, please tell me that uh, we can hear it from screen. If you know, I have another way to do it. Uh, okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's see if we can hear this one. Okay, wait. Share it again. Oh God, I'm gonna kill myself, really, seriously. <laughs> okay, let's see now if you can, guys, can hear it. You know what, I'm gonna do something here. I'm going to block. Okay, let's see. Cross the fingers. Mm. Very much aware of the yep. responsibilities. And a little bit apprehensive. Okay, we're going to put it since the beginning. Thank God. You don't have an idea how much we work on this presentation with the audio making the tricks. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are you doing it? I know, I'm the expert messing up with things. Don't you know me yet? Okay, here we go. Being so busy that I haven't had really much time to think about it. After all, I know I'm still only me and so do my family. But I'm very much aware of the responsibilities and a little bit apprehensive. Who wouldn't be when you think of the names that I follow? Let me answer that very deeply because I feel very strongly about it. The greatest divisions this nation has ever seen were the conflicts of trade unions, 
towards the end of a Labour government. Okay, let's try to make this because when we usually do this exercise, people can talk. So in simple words, tell me what do you think about the first voice you hear and what is your perception and impression of the second voice you hear too? Tell me, uh, one, weak, second, weakest, stronger, so we can divide one, dash, and your concept or the word you want to use, and two, the word, the word you want to use. Guys? Okay. One. Uh, she sounds so much more authoritative in the second voice. Thank you, Glow Amber. So before we go to the team, guys, we want your opinion. It's not right and wrong. We taking and showing you how profiles are done in real life. Okay, Hillary says, first, fast and easy going. What is your opinion about the second one? Do you have one? Ed, you don't need to, but if you have, please share with us. Uh, let's see if we have more. Come on, guys, don't be shy. Now we're going to see again. We're going to hear the audio with the video so you can relate. But if you see the image with the video, you're going to be easily um, moved to a, a, an opinion before you hear it. Um, okay, we're going to go with Hilar first, Perry. Second, punctuated and knowledgeable. Thank you. Perry, I be very agreeable, sounds conflict avoiding. The second, much more gravitas. You don't want to mess with her. Good call. Now, uh, Glowing Amber says, uh, I will like to be her friend on the first one. On the second, I will be frightened <laughs> to disagree with her. Good, good, good definition. Yeah. Okay, Claire de Lune, the second sounds stronger and more decisive. Guys, now, when you want to pay attention uh, to people, try to see the videos with blocking or closing your eyes and paying attention to the voice. Believe it or not, it's not true that 93% of our communication is body language. You see how important is how we enunciate and how we present ourselves with the voice. Great speed, pace and clarity in both. Though she was clearly a gifted speaker even before the training. Completely agree. Okay, you wanna see the video with the image? Okay, let's go for it. So now you can open your eyes, not <laughs> cheating, and you can see the video and the voice at the same time. And let's see how her gaze and her body language change, not only her voice. I've been so busy that I haven't had really much time to think about it. After all, I know I'm still only me, and so do my family. But I'm very much aware of the responsibilities and a little bit apprehensive, who wouldn't be, when you think of the names that I follow. Let me answer that very deeply, because I feel very strongly about it. The greatest divisions this nation has ever seen were the conflicts of trade unions towards the end of a Labour government. Okay, guys. What do you think? Okay, Perry, ready. Grace, Grace speed, pace, and clarity in both. Though she was clearly a gifted speaker. I'm sorry, I just read that one before. Yes, one below. Yeah. yeah. From her speech, I'm guessing she has low ears. Uh, no, believe it or not, she has high ears. So, but you can process information really fast, but you can talk slowly. But most important, she was trained to do it. So what are the differences that you see on the first video and the second one? And let's play it again. I've been so busy that I haven't had really much time to think about it. After all, I know I'm still only me, and so do my family. But I'm very much aware of the responsibilities and a little bit apprehensive. Who wouldn't be? when you think of the names that I follow. Let me answer that very deeply because I 
feel very strongly about it. The greatest divisions this nation has ever seen were the conflicts of trade unions towards the end of a Labour government. A good comment from uh, AG about justice. Uh, she had friendly eyes in the first clip and scary eyes in the second clip. Girls, take it from here. What do you think? What are the differences you see between the first Margaret Thatcher and the second one? In the meantime, I'm going to be putting the comment of the people maybe not reading it so the girls can talk to. Girls? Okay, I think... And the in the first uh, video, she looked more approachable. She looked more like, okay, let's talk, let's see. Even though she, when she talked about their duties, she pulled up the, the 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 eyebrows, like being like scared or surprised about the things that she has to do because she wasn't aware of that. But in the second one, she go like, okay, let's go deeply, and she pointed the things, and she became more clear and more like okay this is what we have to do yeah we call it assertive i like a glowing number uh, uh concept she looked like a housewife on the first one and she looked like a bulldog on the second one uh, i cannot say anything else because you synthesize this really well thank you and you want anything to add uh well yeah i saw in the first bit in the first part of the video that she also was uh moving her eyes to the left and to the right. And also I felt that she was doubting a little bit of what she was saying, uh, uh, meaning basically that she was scared. Uh, she was putting uh, she was putting her foot in a floor that she doesn't know, and she doesn't know what she's going to find or even though how she's going to manage. And in the second part of the video, I saw that she's really She's not doubting about what she's saying. She's convinced about what she's saying. Uh, no hesitating. So, and and her eyes are so like uh, like a sniper. They are straight to the people talking to what she's doing and convinced what she's saying. So, just a completely different person from the beginning until the last part of his uh, period as prime minister. Yeah, uh, guys, you are getting it. The gaze is completely different. Uh, there's something on the gaze where she it's, and we're going to talk about some misconcept about body language and shaking the head and gaze. She's deeply, and every time that she is like, she got accent, like apostrophe, and every time that she talked like deeply, when she wanted to ac accentuate everything that she says, she moved the chin when she says yes and when she says no. So we need to have a baseline when we say like, oh, it's moving the head, yes, when it says no. Can be a baton or can be a gesture to has to do with her baseline. So we always, always need to check on baseline when we're doing a profile on someone. What I always says, I don't do what by a picture micro expressions, body language. Yeah, that the reason a picture is not enough. You need to have a contingency on the video and you need to evaluate all. Another thing, we're gonna see another video when she used the shoulder only to emphasize what she's saying, mm -hmm. not because she's not as sure what she says either. But the gaze, I, I don't know how the person who was in front of her <laughs> feel, but I looking on her video a couple of times this morning was like, holy the heck. That woman is intimidating. Mm -hmm. Again, the Iron Lady. Um, she, she she's, comments. Yeah, there is also no head tilt in the second. Like, no, she is my way or the highway. Uh, Perry says, in the second, her breath is low. She's literally speaking from a deeper, more connect place psychologically. One of the things that she does, and we're going to see another video, is that she take a breath before she speaks. She, I don't know if she's pacing herself or she's preparing or that the way she was taught uh, to breathe. But I would say uh, you, Perry, have uh, training as an actor, so you can tell us about that. In my case, I tried to do uh, stand-up comedy to learn to speak better. 
and they told me, you're never going to be a comedian. You're horrible with jokes. And second of all, play the play, play the weirdo. It's safer than trying to be funny. Like, what? I'm not funny? No, apparently I'm not. So, I'm so busy that I have... Now, especially humming exercise aimed to lower in the pitch level at which she formally spoke. From tapes recording and a speech made before, after receiving tuition, a market difference can be very heard. When there are, are played through an electronic pitch analysis, it's emerged that she achieved a reduction on her pitch of 46 uh, hertz, sure. a figure which is almost half the difference, the average difference in pitch between male and female voices. Studies about how she managed her voice, and actually studies done with a lot of actors and politicians, and their studies done to show that people trust others who have a lower pitch voice. And when the pitch of the voice is too high, people tend to not to trust it. This is a study done with Atkinson in 1984, page 113, if you wanna take a look. Like we always say, if it's not write it and prove it, we don't post it. Pointy eyebrows, don't you see it? I, we, that, they, the girls bet we're not gonna make it in 45, sec, 45 minutes and guess what, <laughs> you're gonna win. Okay, now, this, uh, how funny, is your first life? I can disconnect you, you want me to take you out? No. <laughs> I can be the iron lady. So, <laughs> Now we're gonna we're gonna listen to another video. This is a little longer; it's uh, 55 seconds longer. But pay attention. This is post training. But again, I want you to exercise how you feel and how you can imagine her position when she gave this speech. It's one of the most famous speech she gave. I didn't put the one when she's wearing the red uh, dress. She found that she's funny because we want to get another idea today, but I wish we can do two hours about this because it's ballistic. The good news is part of one of our future trainings. So let's hear the Iron Lady and this one. Okay, here we go. Yes, the commission does want to increase its powers. Yes, it is a non-elected body, and I do not want the commission to increase its powers against this house. You cannot but see the whole uh, image. Or the president of the commission, Mr. Delors, said at press conference the other day that he wanted the European Parliament to be the democratic body of the community, he wanted the Commission to be the executive, and he wanted the Council of Ministers to be the Senate. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Perhaps the Labour Party would give all those things up easily. Perhaps they would agree to a single currency, to total abolition of the pound sterling. Perhaps being totally incompetent with monetary matters, they'd be only too delighted to hand over the full responsibility as they did to the IMF, to a central bank. The fact is, they have no competence on money, no competence on the economy, so yes, the right honourable gentleman would be glad to hand it all over. Okay. Now, the idea is you're going to hear the speech. Now, you're going to see the image but not hear her voice. And the third one is going to be put in together. Oh, Claire Delon, I adore you. You make my day. I think you are very funny. It's one of the reasons I look forward to Friday night. Hmm. I love my people. I love it. Thank you, guys. And uh, Emma said, hello, everyone. She was horrible prime minister, ruin our country. You know what? Uh, we are not, uh, everything who is politics and everything, everybody who is public, it's polarized. I respect your opinion. I will not give, give in a political opinion. We're talking more about the techniques that were used, the techniques she used for it. Uh, I do know that Margaret Thatcher is extremely polarized and for respect, uh, we publish in and we put in uh, your, your comments. I'm sure a lot of people is going to agree with you or disagree. Uh, we're trying to show uh, more on the behavioral PowerPoint. Uh, so 
thank you. I never lived in, in Britain when she was a prime minister. I was in Argentina when the Falkland uh, war happened and my parents hate her. But as a female figure, she was strong. So let's, what about, you have anything to say or you wanted to see only the image without the voice? Okay, we're going with the image without the voice. Here we go. Okay, now you're gonna see the same audio but image. It's not the audio is not working. It's on purpose. It's we are training different parts of your brain. So let's get ready and we're gonna be, do the debriefing at the end. Okay, guys, until now, you like the exercise? You like how your brain can be shooting different images and different options, even though it's the same video? It's You find it useful that you can listen to the, the, the persona and imagine the, the body after put the body together? Okay, um, Perry says, uh, it's interesting too that uh, Thatcher changed her accents too to fit it with the political class and have more authority. She liked to snap her head down when making a point. Yeah, that's what I was saying, uh, Glowing. You're really good perceiving things. Uh, that's what I'm saying that you need to be careful when you says like this, meaning the person is lying. And I don't know if you see the, the shoulder shrug, but now we're gonna put the audio with the image together. Hiller says her shoulder are square and she learned it she leaning like she's relaxed, but on top of it. Uh, it's a power pose. Uh, people do power pose, but when you have an atrium in front of you, that is a power pose, and we're going to talk about that. And maybe we're not going to do face reading today. Maybe we're going to do only body language, because I have seven minutes to get on air. Uh, yes, I like learning this word. Yet yeah, great. Uh, she show Isaac. Isaac Isaac says arrogant. Um, yeah, she was defined as an arrogant person too, but you need to see the room. She was the only lady. I don't know, uh, I don't know how it would act. It's happened to me when I'm the only female on the room and I found out my body language, my posture, even the tone of my voice is different. Okay, guys, since apparently you like it, let's go for this third video when we put things together and again i'm gonna let you know when we're gonna be recording the class for the uh, already students you have the chance to be live when we record the next classes i hate it to do by myself okay uh okay here we go all together have fun yes the commission does want to increase its powers Yes, it is a non-elected body, and I do not want the Commission to increase its powers against this House. So, of course, we are differing. Of course, the Chairman or the President of the Commission, Mr. Delors, said at press conference the other day that he wanted the European Parliament to be the democratic body of the community. He wanted the Commission to be the executive, and he wanted the Council of Ministers to be the Senate. No. 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 Oh! Oh, oh, perhaps the Labour Party would give all those things up easily. 
Perhaps they would agree to a single currency, to total abolition of the pound sterling. Perhaps being totally incompetent with monetary matters, they'd be only too delighted to hand over the full responsibility as they did to the IMF, to a central bank. The fact is, they have no competence on money, no competence on the economy, so yes, the right honourable gentleman would be glad to hand it all over. Okay, uh, Glowin says something, yeah, um, she seems to display many masculine gestures normally not accepted for women to act this way. We need to understand that we did what this was on the 80s. Yes. Now, uh, ladies, uh, any comments? You want me to take it from here? Do you want to say anything? Yes, it's, it's like she's talking to everyone. It's like, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, and to you too. So she's looking like I'm talking to everyone. And she's so assertive, so authoritarian that like, oh my God, everyone is paying attention. And in and, and one point she's like, okay, bring me everything you want me to say, but at the end of the day, this is how he's going to do it. So, wow. And? Yeah, yeah the, it, it, it seems that at the beginning she was like complaining of something about the tone of, his, of her voice, but at the same time, she changed it as uh, we are arguing and analyzing what the other party said and what they are thinking to do. Uh, and, and afterwards, I'm like, no, I'm not accepting that. And it's like, okay, they want to define me. I accept the define, to be defined. So uh, it's so interesting. And even though the way she, her gestures were uh, so accurate at the same time that she was saying the things to be precise and to emphasize what she was she was saying bef uh, before all the parliament. So yeah, it's interesting to see the, the body language, even though she was squared and, and everything, but at the same time knows how to use it. So she always gets the attention of the parliament. Well, Perry says, uh, you can see her hand emphasizing each climax on her point as well as the bottom of the screen. She was a powerhouse in this clip. And you know what? We're going to go with body language since I prefer to do something well and not to be rushing on things. My apologies. We're going to see how we're going to be doing the face reading. Maybe when we do Pablo Picasso, maybe instead to do one hour next month, we, uh, with Pablo Picasso, we do two hours where we can go again for the ones who want to collaborate and want to see the recording again, and we can go on her face readings. Uh, she turned from her core, not just her neck. Yes, one of the things that I want to show, and I'm going to play this video again, I'm going to move the video, is she used even, she used everything, every uh, baton that she can use. She used her glasses she used the pen she used her body you see how she leaned she's leaning and saying like okay i'm here like when you go into a, a bar and you see someone leaning on the bar saying like okay i'm the one who's gonna we welcome you that is the the um, oh my god the the rangers and the um, the cowboys position she had the cowboy position and you see how she leaning all over the room to point it like you says, Hiller, she is like again leaning again and pointed with the head. She pointed with the head to make sure everything that she want to emphasize is emphasized with her body. It's it's almost theatrical. It's like when I have the chance when I study in in, in UK to go to see theater, and it's different the way they do theater here. They're participate, they're emphasized. If you love theater, you're gonna see that the actors are well more enforced when they do things with their body because so everybody can see how the body correlate with the words. And that's what she's doing here. Another thing that I'm gonna show and the picture who show, okay, do you see this room? She was the only female. And okay, you, you're gonna say it, say it, say it. <laughs> no, I'm just going to point it that the way she dressed. Yep, she dressed in lighter colors. You can see gray, blue, and black. No brown, never wore a brown suit if you no. want to 
be fine respectful she always used this uh dark lighting uh dark lighting in uh blue a uh, cobalt blue she used a lot this color like purple but she always differentiates herself with the colors so not only if you see this image you can notice her she gonna get your attention she doesn't blend with the rest of the people so again from the strategic point of view from the behavioral style of view for the political style of view I give kudos to everyone who uh, trained her. Now, do I agree or disagree with the politics? I wasn't in an age to make my own decisions regarding that when she did. I'm not British. I didn't live on that situation. I don't know what are the consequences. But again, when we are hired, we are hired to do things like she get done. Guys, anything else you want to say about her? No, I think it's it's great to see her how she act, how she interact, how she always be like, okay, let me, you can talk whatever you want, you can tell me whatever you want, but at the end of the day, things has to be done in a way. So I like that. I like the way she can manage manage people. The way the way she uses her arm as they sweep it briefly and take up the space, completely claiming it, she owns the room. And I agree with Perry, and even though with you guys, uh, she was a woman that always uh, stand out uh, from the audience, even though in this room, in this picture, we can see that she's the only woman, of course, but the, the color of, of her suit is like the main point of the picture so she was always uh looking uh first i'm the first one and and the rest of you are my background but that's it and every time it, in the way she talked uh she talked also uh she's like owning the the, the place and is my way or is my way another way not, not another way so yeah yeah my way or the highway and again uh in order to stand up in that time was really difficult. Okay, we have three pages of comment of her. And again, we're not gonna be able to do it today. So that's what we're gonna do. Next week, we're gonna do Bill and Melinda Gates because guys don't write. The week after we can do Pablo Picasso and the Iron Lady and go back to the videos, do two hours a special, and we can go to the face reading of her. Who want to do that? <laughs> it's not fair we are voting ourselves but i want to make sure that yeah I, i'm going to go fast and i'm going to do a better you see we're going to be reading her face lovely face uh we're going to talk about bill gates and melinda gates next friday for 04 remember prices are going up register uh, next webinars uh we're going to talk this about next week this is when you can locate it now guys please you're spending time registered and we want to give you what you deserve what you uh what you registering for what we promise so we don't get we don't want to fall short in our promise so that's how you register you're going to susan i with human behavior lab that i publish it subscribe to our youtube channel and i'm going to put it here if you haven't done it yet here we go now after you register Hit the bell so you don't miss any live. After that, email to Anne. She is going to be, uh, okay, Perry got froze on the comment. Uh, uh, okay, I, I can't wait to take the Harry. So email to info at humanbehaviorlab.com this information. Name, your name. Put on the subject, the code for today, May 21. And remember, the raffle is going to be live like we're going to do it today. But when you send the email to Anne, you need to send your name and your email and your avatar. We have a lot of people using avatars in YouTube, and we don't have any way to recognize to give. Uh, again, we have a growth of 10% of people in YouTube, but only 20 send us the information. Guys, you are missing. So we already contact, we are waiting for the person who won the raffle last week. What I need you guys is please remember 
If we don't have your information, we can contact you and check the spam. If it's not, uh, uh, and it's gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna stop sharing so we can uh, do uh, our will. And Perry, yes, you're right. We have the number 100 missing, but we switch the names every week, uh, the numbers every week. So the same person is not assigned the same one. So uh, let's go with the sharing of, I think I need to go to the other screen. That will happen last week. Here we go. We're going to go with the wheel. And we have, yes. And remember, we have a second, we have two raffles that we do today. One is who won the 30 minutes and the other one is a plus. So let's share it. And I hate to rush on things, but I have too much on the plate in one day. So let's go and let's spin the wheel. Oh my God, I think the winner oh is actually God. on the room. The winner is on the room. Actually, the winner is on the room. So we're going to contact you. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, it's a lady, no? Anne? Yes, it's a lady. You have the name? Yes. Just a okay, second. you can say it. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, in the meantime, we're going to see if. Meantime. Okay, let's see if she got the bonus. That is a free webinar at your election. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Somebody oh. saw Kristen early. Okay, so now we only have the winner. She is on the room today because I remember it was a lady. We have the name? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Because I'm sorry. I'm the system is a little bit slow. Uh, Okay. Amber, we are, we are, okay, wait a minute. We are uh, changing the numbers every week. Don't worry. We are, we cannot be sending a personalized emails with your number because glowing number says uh, where I can find a number. We are not, um, we cannot send the, 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 the number. Don't worry. If you want, we're going to contact you. In this case, I do remember reviewing the documents this morning. So we have, the 101, yes. who is? Glowy number. By the way, you won, you see? Congrats. Glowing, you're not on with, congrats to yourself. You just won 30 minutes with whoever you pick on the team, plus every webinar that you want to take and let us know. Glowing, we're going to contact you. In this case, I, we do remember that it was you. So I didn't, I, I wasn't sure, so I didn't want to say so. Glowing, congrats. Yeah, you won. You yeah. see? Yay. This is real. So we yeah, have guys, don't forget to check your spam, uh, please, because even though uh, when you write to me at our info at humanbehaviorlab.com, maybe my response can is going inside your spam. So please don't forget to check your spam so you can know the number that you received for the raffle for next week. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, I will see you next Friday and we're going to do this again. It's been so much fun, at least for me. Okay, I need to learn how to use a uh, uh, club. Something. Also, if you already have been subscribing to our YouTube channel, don't forget to send me your email, please, so I can assign you the yeah, number for the next so round. Um, I'm online. So, guys, you see you next week. Bye. See you, guys. Bye. I never watched myself on a video.